Welcome to this uh, first uh, tutorial, Corel Draw 16. We want us to begin by looking at the uh, workspace. So when you open Corel Draw 16, the first thing that you see is this quick, quick start screen. If you go through this, it shows you uh, the quick start, which is this one. What's new? Anything new that you can get in Corel Draw? You go through this to find the new features that have come up after. Uh, get uh, the previous version of uh, 15 the learning tools you can get all these learning tools the gallery what you have in the gallery these are sample files that have been created using Corel Draw the updates you can get the news and updates and such if you go to the open recent you look at you can look at the current files that were last edited by Corel Draw 16 you can either decide to open a new blank document or you can use a document from the templates that Corel Draw 16 has but I would like us to go to new blank document when you click on the new blank document you have to set up your documents like for the name of your document let me name it tutorial page destination Let's just say custom the size of your document uh, normally use A4 for normal documents prefer using centimeters number of pages you can specify at the beginning when you're setting up the page or you can make it later on you can always add and remove pages the number of pages as you want Primary color mode is CMYK. For most of the printing purposes, use CMYK. But if it is for display, use RGB. So it depends on the destination of your document. If you want to use it for presentation purposes on screen, you use RGB. But if it's for printing, we use CMYK to be able to get the color separations. For those who are doing offset printing, whereby they have to do the plates, you have to use CMYK for printing purposes. The rendering resolution is uh, on average is 300 dpi. Those are the most important settings that you need to have. Then after saying that, you just say OK. Then you create a blank new document with your settings there. A brief overview of the tools that we have in Corel Draw 16 is just like the other versions of Corel Draw. Of course, if you want to see uh, the ones that are new features are added, they are highlighted. The ones that are highlighted are the new features snap to so it highlights the new features that we have this particular part is just like any other <coughs> office uh, document like Microsoft Word is the standard toolbars but let us briefly go through them if you go to the file menu We have new if you want to create a new file, new from templates, opening, open recent, open your recent recent documents, you have to close, close the current document, close all. If you have many uh, documents, Corel documents which are open, you can close all of them using this. Save as normal, save as template, yeah. Acquire image. Let's say, for example, you want to work with some pictures from maybe you have scanned some pictures or you want to square directly from the scanner. You want to use uh, a picture from your stores, from the scanner especially, then you select source. I don't have a scanner installed in this computer, so I'll not go to that. But if you have a scanner installed, it will direct you to your scanner. Search content, for example, if you have already uh, your document, you can search the contents of in the document import let's press import and see what happens this one you can import uh, pictures you can import pictures like uh, if you have pictures you can import them preview them before importing to make sure that you're importing the right picture you can set the direction of uh, what you want to import yeah if you know the name you can uh, start by hinting at the name But basically, you can import pictures like JPEG, TIFF, 
and JPEG documents and PDF as well you can import PDF if you import uh, a picture let's import some picture yeah you can import a picture and place it where you want alternatively you can import a picture and place it at the center of the document let's try that again import after double clicking on it then you just press enter on the keyboard then it will place the picture at the center of that particular page you can resize it the way you want and such so that is the import command you can export of course you can only export whatever you have in your document if I wanted to export this particular uh, file I'll say you see now that I have something in my page the export command is enabled you can export this particular file as all these file types you can export it as all these file types so it depends on what kind of export you want then you say export export for the web Corelo 16 has come with a new feature that enables you to export to the web using a light a light but high quality document if i say export to the web for example if i want to export this particular <coughs> page to the web it's now optimizes in the gif 256d that format it makes it lighter but at the same time high quality image and lighter size for example that old page with those pictures will only it shows you the size it will be only 3.07 kilobytes after export that's a relatively small file but it doesn't lose the quality so export for the web is a new feature that is added to Corel 16 that can enable you export files for especially pictures for the web in GIF format cost 3.07 kilobytes it's very small that's uh, good enough export HTML maybe you want to make a head outmail document for those who are web programmers send to just the normal send to that we have in any other program you can also print it depends on what you want to print print merge if you want to create a print document print preview before you do any printing you want to preview whatever you wanted to print so that you can be sure whatever you're going to get is the right thing you can resize this in in the print preview thing you can resize it put it wherever you want yeah design the, the number of pages that you want to print if you run two pages in one like that if you run four pieces in one just go to in position layout tool and you select from here you can show the print marks if you want to you can show the print marks you can preview and such so that is the print preview you can preview and set at the same place so that's the print setup you can set up the printing the page size the printer you select whichever all those then there's this new feature which is improved that's collect for output collect for output let's say you're working on a file that you want to send out to a printer so it collects all the fonts that you have it collects all the pages that you have it converts the document into P P very high quality PDF format and such so that you have all that collection in one it collects all the fonts so that you should take your document to a third party printer you won't have any problem publish to PDF if you want to publish that document to PDF which is a common document presentation format these days you have several options of saving in uh, your PDF format if you click down here you are given some options at archiving CMYK archiving RGB 
for editing, for document dis uh, distribution, PDF, prepress, and web. So if you want to export a PDF that you want to con uh, send maybe through the web, you use this, it will give you a lighter PDF. For prepress, it will give you the print quality PDF. That is the high quality, almost similar to the original Corel Draw file. That's uh, the export to PDF format. So that's that's generally what I want us to go through. In the next uh, one, these tools, you can always do something as we work with them. We'll get to practice and get to learn more. In the next uh, step, we're going to learn about text. How to work with text in Corel 16, just like any other version of Corel.